Lipid protein degradation is what proteomics has been waiting for. So Neosphere is a new company which we founded in April 2022. The idea of Neosphere is to bring together degraded drugs and their cellular targets. And by making these connections, creating opportunities for really new drug discovery, we can use proteomics, proteomic screening, to analyze large number of compounds, even libraries of potential degraded drugs, to identify their candidate targets degradation targets. As a next step, we can take the candidates and use other proteomics technologies to validate the degradation mechanism, which is also very important uh, to then in the end come up with um, mechanistically validated degrader targets. Many of them were so far thought to be undruggable because they had no obvious binding sites or cavities where small molecules can interact with. We thought a lot what kind of mass specs are most appropriate for our needs and we decided to go for the Timstoff technology which is also data independent but comes with an additional dimension of the iron mobility. We are using the DIA passive approach with methods that we heavily optimized. What's very important for us is high protein coverage. We are routinely able to quantify up to 11,000 protein groups with more than 200,000 precursor ions in just one hour gradient time. So sometimes we are asked whether it really makes a major difference whether you detect 8,000 or as we do up to 11,000 different proteins in a cell very interesting targets such as transcription factors. They are expressed at low levels based on our data that at a coverage of 11,000 enables us to detect twice as many transcription factors compared to a coverage of 8,000. And this makes an enormous difference. It increases uh, the coverage of a very important class of potential drug targets which have been notoriously difficult to drug in the past. One of the key aspects which is very important for us is a very short turnaround time. So for example, if, if we do a proteomic screen and we find an interesting hit, uh, we can perform certain mechanistic validations such as ubiquitinomics or interactomics very fast to uh, identify and to validate interesting findings in, a, in an unbiased screen. And also when it's about the short MedCam cycles uh, for further developed drug discovery programs, hit to lead, lead optimization or even preclinical stages, there what we can offer very fast is a selectivity profiling to identify whether the modified hit compounds have some potential off targets which are not desired. The combination of the speed of the TOF and the additional dimension of the iron mobility plus the flexibility we have on the front end when using our own columns is something which would not be possible on any other platform currently on the market.